Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I will create uh, one policy uh, which is uh, I missed on this series of uh, endpoint production series. So let's start. Today I will create a Kaise profile and how uh, Kaise system is work, how endpoints will getting update without internet. Let's discuss on this video. So first we need to add a policy and this policy belong to update management and then click on next then after give the name and I have already NXG sorry NXG update 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 without internet so let's click on save button so now i have created nxg update without internet policy name so you can find here nxg update without so click here once you click here you can see the dashboard so you can add endpoints and groups and policy enforce and settings once you go in the settings sections so here two options one is rec recommended uh, for uh, from sophos this will uh, re receive update from sophos servers and this will schedule when your system will update and if you if you, in your organizations uh, if 100 systems working but 50 system you don't give internet only they are working on some applications but you want to protect that system then uh, you can choose uh, update with cache because update with cache it will work i will describe how it will work but first uh, understand uh, this one first one schedule update uh, by sophos and this will automatically all system uh, getting update of the sophos endpoint related to patch related to uh, related to uh, sophos endpoint uh, behind antivirus so in this in this conditions in this conditions you need internet connections if you don't have internet connections on your systems on your endpoint then you cannot update your systems like in your servers if you use a data center then many servers don't have internet connections but they need to up to date with antivirus so how it can do so then required cache update systems let's describe on the pant so you can understand oh. this is our uh, Sofos Central Cloud. Let me do Sofos Central Cloud, and these are our these are our servers with they are without internet, and this is our one server who is getting internet so now what happened here this update will receive here and then after the update move to here now here you on the servers here you need to give internet up you can create a one uh, windows 16 or windows uh, 19 or 2020 servers and here you can install sophos update manager uh, kaise update manager and this machine will push update offline windows who is without internet running but here is required domain systems like if you, all systems in the domain group then you can apply this policy this is a methods how it will work so uh, it is automatically uh, sophos provide these applications you can uh, once you using endpoint system then you can see uh, this method will uh, work, work look like this right so you need to at least one systems one servers where 
they need internet connections this machine this machine will receive all internet all update from sophos sophos central and then he release from here he release from here to all offline systems and online system like if in in your in your system if there is online system then online system will automatically get update from sophos cloud this is sophos cloud so first cloud and this is server and this is offline client client with servers windows any and this one is online client so it looks like this you need to just install and then automatically uh, from sophos cloud the uh, the system the internet access server uh, or kaise server will receive all update then release from here to your all endpoint agents all on point clients and uh, which systems access directly internet they, this system will automatically update from sophos cloud this method will be uh, work like this and if you getting error then you can call me you can uh, chat me definitely i will help you thank you so much for watching my youtube channel video jain